Hi Art fans, welcome to Ark Invest Daily, your daily dose of Ark information. Today is August 31st and we have complete month's data and hence even though it's middle of the week, we will be doing a monthly summary for August. What did Ark do in this month? Since we record data every day, we are able to do such things. We are able to do a diff from August 1st to August 31st and figure out what are the various biggest moves. Uh, how has the market value been trending? And uh, uh, look out for companies like Palantir for which they added 10 million shares. It's actually 10.3 million shares in August. So stay with me to find out more about that. How many companies they added and how many did they get rid of? There are nine new and there are a lot of removed as well. So stay with me. Please like and subscribe. This is the USB of this channel. Because we record data every day, we are able to bring you such summary uh, episodes. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you. Welcome back guys. So today we are doing a monthly summary. It's August 31st. We have the whole data from right from August 1st to August 31st. Actually, we have been recording data every day since January. So we can do these episodes which bring you the summary, the diffs from August 1st to uh, August 31st to find out the biggest moves, etc. So this is that episode. Um, now in our summary section of this episode, we always keep an eye on market value trends. So they started the month with the 44.77 billion for all the ETFs combined and they ended in 44.59. So it's a net negative, um, but uh, not by that much. So it's uh, they went all the way down to 41.49 billion. Considering that, it's not that bad, I would say. So they have recovered. So um, yeah, not, not a very bad month, I would say, but still negative. This is how this 44.59 um, billion is divided in all these ETFs, eight ETFs that they have. I'll quickly click on each one of them and then you can see the trend move. So RK uh, started with 22.52, ended in 22.38. So it is a little bit negative there. Uh, this one as well, RG as well is a little bit negative. RW also a little bit negative. ARC FinTech is the one which is positive. Not by a lot, but still positive is positive. Then you have RQ, um, also slightly negative. ARCX, uh, almost same, 0.6, 1. And then you have print uh, going slightly up and Israel also going slightly upward. So that's that's uh, how each of these ETFs look like. This is the number of companies that are present in each of these ETFs. Some of the companies present in multiple, obviously. Uh, but ending the month in 285 companies, starting the month with 289. There were ups and downs. There were some companies removed, some were added. So we will uh, feature that in just a bit right after biggest moves. So biggest moves, um, the threshold that we have today for percentage of shares is 50%. So any companies to which the shares were added, 50% uh, uh, of the position that was at the end of July are removed by 50% so compared to the position on end of July. So uh, so that's, that's the August uh, companies that basically fit that criteria and this is their ranking in the 285 companies um, so let's take a look quickly mark forged is topping the charts its rank is 108 and 135 percent extra shares added in august so it's like more than more than doubled obviously so 3.96 million shares added not a big uh, move in terms of market value 28 million but still then SEMA 4, 129% extra shares added. Signify Health, 113% extra shares. Aiden, 94%. HC 61, to simple 55%. Pinduru, 52% uh, extra shares. In terms of biggest ones, it's uh, to simple and Signify Health, as you can see, uh, in terms of market value. And when I hover over these, you'll see more information there, uh, the stock price and shares count going up all the way, as you can see. In terms of negative, it's SEER, which is 100%, almost 100%. This is rounded value, obviously. So it's saying 100%, but it is almost 100%. Otherwise, it will show up in the new and removed company section instead of biggest move section. Alibaba, 99% removed in August. iSecure, 88%. General Electric, 88% removed. Pure Storage, 83% removed. Seeris uh, Therapeutics, 81% removed. Netflix, 78% removed. Roche Holdings 75% removed, Serpera 67 and Tradex 59% removed, MGI Digital 59 and Nvidia 56% uh, removed and Zongan 52%. So that's uh, that's the biggest move by shares movement uh, plus or minus, uh, biggest one being in terms of market value being uh, Roche Holdings. Now what I'll do is I'll change this to zero. So this is all the companies that are present right now. Let's change the uh, market value filter so that we can uh, we can take a look at the companies that um, uh, that increased in market value just because the stock price increased and not because the shares were added. Whoa, it has to be a big threshold because it's monthly. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, take 88 million as the threshold. And as you can see, 
well we had 50 percent uh, as our threshold in shares so palantir 39 percent extra shares added which is 10.735 uh, 10.735 million shares um, making a big difference of 379.2 million um, in month of august it was added to four other etfs so this is the only this is the second company that they have added to all the six etfs of theirs uh, first one being ui path um, as you can see the stock price has gone up during uh, august and they have added a lot of shares uh, drafting as well eight percent extra share so 1.1 million uh, but the biggest in market value change unity software little bit reduced in fact but still very positive because of market value change uh, to simple signify we went over beam therapeutics only five percent shares added but look at this um, market value going up in teletherapeutics three percent up um, but market value very high very task so let's see in the negative ones uh, zoom is the one which has taken a plunge in terms of market value as you can see and they have bought the dip um, in the trends you can see they how they're buying the dip as the stock price went down then you have square shopify uh, Roche Holdings, uh, DocuSign as well, doing negative, Twitter, uh, uh, C, then you have Nintendo, Teladoc, and Novartis. So those were the biggest moves uh, by shares and by market value. Now let's go over overall portfolio, how it looks for August. This is how it looks. Uh, yeah, more, uh, well, it's kind of balanced, not positive, not negative. And we saw that in market value trend that it's, it's uh, negative, but just by a little bit overall. So Tesla being um, right a little bit on the green side, on a very light green, almost uh, touching the boundary of red, I would say. Uh, green is green is Palantir, and red is red is Square and Zoom, as you can see. Uh, new and remove companies, it's a big section today. So Biko, I won't call that as a new company because it's just uh, uh, another company which got uh, converted into. So Cellink AB converted into Biko Group, I think. So that's why it's showing up as new. Etsy is new in RCAF, uh, Genius Sports added to RW, Henkel, AG added to Print, Job, Y Aviation added to RCAX, Life Person to RW, Palantir added to four new four ETFs that uh, I just mentioned that as well, Pfizer to RG, Signify Health to RK, and Soaring Eagle to RG and K as well. Uh, in terms of the biggest investment, it's uh, the last few ones, which is Pfizer, uh, Signify Health, Soaring um, Eagle. So this is almost 200 million soaring eagle uh, but i think palantir is not far off so that is also well that is like 130 not 100 100 and yeah 130 uh, million more added there as well uh in terms of the ones that are removed these are this is the list uh Pekar, reinvent base uh raven ankle ag me to one king and health robo group Charles Schwab selling in Kenzone. Some of these are not removed. These, these are just a convert uh, the stock price, uh, the stock symbol converted, and hence system thinks that it is it is removed. Um, so that's new and remove companies. Daily watch list. Uh, so well, not daily. This is monthly now, uh, in the sense that we have done a dip from uh, August first to August thirtieth. Palantir we just went over. It is thirty eight point eight percent extra. Ten point three million shares added there. Huge number of shares. Big difference in market value. DraftKing also 8% extra shares added, uh, 215. Nano dimension, uh, 300 and so net positive number of shares, 354,000 shares added. Not a big movement in market value. Skills actually reduced a little bit of shares, 2.6 um, and ne net negative of 53.3 million. So that's our watch list. We'll go to Palantir and take a quick look at the trend. I'll extend this all the way since the time I've been collecting uh, data actually uh, let's actually go to first keep the old trend uh, just the august want to see where have they added right in which etf so looks like they have added uh, yeah they started a new position in the four etf so obviously those ones and out of those four they have been most bullish on arc f uh, as that is the most bullish trend there and then they also added in arc w and arc k which it was already present in in past uh, this is the market value this is the number of shares now let's also take a look at the longer tre uh, trend there so um yeah very bullish on palantir extremely bullish on palantir they started earlier in the year it was just 2 million and now it is it is 37 uh, million shares so almost uh, 20x increased uh, this is great um so that's uh, that's your monthly dose i would say uh, monthly episode please like and subscribe and see you on the other side i'll see you tomorrow or day after um and uh, yeah thank you so much for